If you don't want debt chasing you around for the rest of your life, there are a few things you should never keep in your wallet. Like seriously, these things could be messing up your finances and blocking that money energy from flowing into your life. And trust me, the last one I'm about to share with you will completely shock you. First of all, let's talk about those people who stuff their wallets with receipts. You know who you are. You're probably thinking it's a good way to track your spending, right? Well, actually it's doing the opposite. Holding onto those receipts is like holding onto bad energy, a reminder of all the money you've blown. Feng Shui says it's basically telling the universe, hey, I'm ready for more financial losses. So yeah, ditch those receipts, ASAP. And get this, some folks even carry around fake money or playbills. Like why? Maybe it seems fun or cute, but it's not. Keeping fake money in your wallet is like telling the universe that you're okay with fake opportunities or bad deals coming your way. You don't want to attract that kind of negative energy into your life, trust me. Now here's something even more common. People with huge, bulky wallets stuffed with everything under the sun. Not just money, but all sorts of junk like old bills, random papers, and who knows what else. If that's you, it's actually a big red flag in feng shui. A messy, overloaded wallet doesn't just scream disorganization, it's also linked to poor health and constant financial stress, like those hospital bills that just keep piling up. Seriously, a cluttered wallet could mean you're attracting constant problems, health-wise and money-wise. So, if you're serious about keeping that financial flow going strong, you gotta keep your wallet clean and organized. Feng Shui is all about balance and energy flow, and your wallet is a big part of that. Keep it real, keep it clean, and make sure it's ready to attract prosperity, not push it away. Feel me? If you've got any more questions about what should or shouldn't go in your wallet, drop them in the comments and I'll hit you back with some more tips. But for now, remember, your wallet's energy is your money's energy, so treat it right, like and follow for more videos like this.